Hey, I'm Joel Jewett, president of Neversoft Entertainment. We're going to do a little walk around Neversoft today, show you guys maybe uh, how we make uh, Tony Hawk games and uh, give you a little taste of what we do for entertainment on the side. Got a skateboarding ramp right here. Maybe we'll do a little drop in for you, huh? Well, uh, part of the Neversoft process is we make sure that we burn our game to DVD at least once a week. And uh, I'm thinking the boys were here late last night, about 1 in the morning, got our burn down so we can send it off to QA. And uh, this kind of proves the, proves the point. Must have got her done. <laughs> We've done uh, extensive retooling of the animation system for Tony Hawk this year to incorporate tons of uh, motion capture moves, and uh, it's really, uh, you can really feel it in the game. We're pretty excited about it. So. My name is Christina Edelmeyer, and I'm the motion capture supervisor here at Neversoft, and I'm going to show you some of our data that's going in the game and explain a little bit about motion capture. There's always uh, more animations that people want to get into the game, no matter how late in the process we are, and we did a shoot just this week, and uh, those uh, some of those animations are already in the game. This is a mocap marker, and uh, what we have here is an optical system. The cameras shoot out light, and then whatever reflects off of this ball comes back to the camera as a little dot in 3D space. So this is a typical board that we capture for a lot of the motions in the game. It's just a regular skateboard, and we just put these reflective markers on the board to capture the board, and then we used our reflective tape on the wheels here to capture the trucks. You can see past the uh, wall of Red Bull, that's our uh, in-house test department. Hard at work on uh, making sure we get Tony Hawk's Project 8 out the door on time for Christmas. This is the land of the Neversoft character artist. This is where uh, all the boys are putting together the uh, characters for uh, Tony Hawk's Project 8. And uh, as you can see, based on uh, the decor, uh, these boys have a little bit of character themselves. I'm Jason Greenberg. I'm the lead animator on the Tony Hawk series. And uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about our new animation system, our new next-gen animation system. In the past Tony Hawk games, we've done animations in a very straightforward way where you trigger a trick and it plays a canned animation which is exactly the the trick. It's just the trick and nothing else. This year what we've done is we've made the trick system dynamic so uh, we actually build the tricks in different layers so that every time you see the trick it's going to be a little bit different based on how you're interacting with the world and what you're doing with the control. Um, we start off with a, uh, a s actually three different uh, states of the ollie. We do um, a takeoff state, uh, an apex state, and then a land state. And we're constantly blending between those three states as you travel through the air. When you do a trick, we'll layer on top of that system and the trick will look different if you initiate it immediately after ollieing. Uh, if you initiate the trick at the apex of your jump or if you initiate the trick closer to the land. So um, as you're kind of moving through the air and doing different tricks, they're going to look slightly different based off of kind of your position in the air. Uh, yeah, my name's Jake Geiger. I'm a senior artist and uh, I'm going to show you the uh, warehouse training level that I've been working on right now. When we go in and we put our normals and textures on there, we've got our texture maps, which are going to basically be like the paintings that are going on any given object to give it its color. And then um, the normal maps are going to be the, uh, the next level to that where we're going to have, it's going to give it that 3D quality to it, where it's going to kind of fake a little bit of 3D. And then we end up putting our specular maps on top of that, which are going to give it a little bit of uh, shininess, and you're going to get the nice glints, and it'll catch the highlights off the normal map, so they really work well together. Hey, this is Carlos Serla. I'm the lead character artist for Tony Hawk's Project 8, and just wanted to show you guys our full body scans of all the pros this year. This here's the photo stage where we try to get like um, 
just the texture data from them. So we do we make them do like a 360 turn, doing various poses. So we, we get two flavors of um, 3D scan data. So we get a full body scan, which catches which captures all the wrinkles and all the you know the basic proportions of the body. But the full body problem with full body scan doesn't give us like uh, all the extra detail around the face. So we take them to another scanner, which is like a facial scanner, which gives us all the small details and intricacies of a person's face, so we can actually represent them into the game. So this year we pretty much scanned all the pros in the game, so they look just the way they do in real life. Hey, hope you enjoyed a sneak peek at uh, Project 8 this afternoon and a little walk around Neversoft. I know I had a good time. Drop by anytime. We'll be waiting.